a pretty boy. You know, my younger days. Oh, you mean like uh, Mr. Like Igney? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Igney. Great streamer. <laughs> he a pretty boy. Do you like Mr. Ignis' YouTube channel? Do you want to support Mr. Ignis? Well, head on over to shop.spreadshirt.com backslash Mr. Ignis. Here you will find all sorts of merchandise for men, women, kids and babies, and even pets. The man's apparel consists of t-shirts, tank tops, long sleeve shirts, hoodies and sweatshirts, zip hoodies and jackets, eco-friendly tees, big and tall, sportswear, workwear. The women apparel consists of t-shirts, tanks, long sleeve sleeve shirts, hoodies and sweatshirts, zip hoodies and jackets, echo friendly tees, plus size, sportswear, polo shirts, workwear, the kids and babies apparel consists of kids shirts, baby and toddler shirts, baby body suits, sweatshirts, long sleeve shirts, the accessories consist of bags and backpacks, caps, mugs and drinkware, aprons, phone and tablet cases, buttons, other and seasonal gifts. Find all this at shop.spreadshirt.com backslash Mr. Ignat. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever the case may be. I am Mr. Igni, the Camp Life, still 10% body fat, only nothing back, cutting haters, no slack. Hope everybody's doing all right today. Word up, word up. I know a lot of y'all have missed me. I haven't been uploading every single day as much as consistently as I have as of recently, but it's all good, man. Hope everybody's doing all right. Shout out to the Creator of Heaven and Earth. Above all, shout out to Camp Life, shout out to Legit crew, let's continue to do what we do. Shout out to Murdy Gang, any damn thing changed. And this happens to be one of my first games playing the Black Ops Alpha. And a lot of people have been asking me my opinion. And I've narrowed it down to three videos. I'm going to start with the good, the bad, the ugly. This happens to be the good. I'm going in order. You know, according to the old movie, The Good, Bad, and the Ugly Word Up. Yeah, I'm an old saw that is what it is. And if y'all hear any water sounds in the back, it's because I'm, as of recently, the H-Town area, Houston, Texas, meaning USA, is going through the Texas floods right about now. Don't worry, your boy's all right. Shout out to the folks that say, hey, Mr. Igna, are you doing all right? I'm doing okay. Word up, word up. Lord willing, I hope it stops raining anytime soon, probably within the next, uh, you know, that two weeks straight, rain stop, rain stop, it takes its toll on this area, but it's all good, all to the good, man, hope everybody's doing all right, all right, so we're going to start with the good, this is the version of it, and look up there, look your boy, look at my average, see, my average KD, and people are like, hey, Mr. Igni, do you just support the camping community? What are you going to do? What are you campers going to do when a, a Russian game comes out? Listen here. I'm not one to start with the ugly, but uh, this is the good. Basically, the weapons. Let me start with the things that I like. The weapons are good. The time to kill is good. Take this map, for example. Okay, look what I'm running. I'm running the spy plane, artillery, napalm. Word up, word up. And y'all know they have a requisition style gameplay. And this is Kill Confirmed. One of my first Kill Confirms. It was myself and my homie Jumpman. Shout out to him. You know, any Murdy Gang affiliates. Word up, word up. One of my channel members. And if any one of you guys would like to play with your boy, pause. Y'all be sure to become a channel member. And if you're cool, we're going to play a lot. It is what it is. And everybody camps this bank, by the way. And I'm using that AK-74U, AK, Force, that AK excuse me, pardon me, it's been a long day. That AK-74U with the dot and the regular accoutrements, word up, word up. Everybody camps that bank. A lot of folks are like, what are you guys going to do? Look, everybody's camping. Everybody has modern warfare <laughs> hangover. So everybody still camps. Everybody's still scared to move around. And if you move around, you got a whole click, which it is what it is. As I get laid down in that bank. Now, I'm not talking too bad about the graphics right now, but it it's a whole lot to take in since I'm fairly, fairly, fairly was fresh, fresh out the pack. 
coming with this alpha, but hey, the time to kill is great. Look, I'm laying these guys down. I didn't have to get too, too sweaty in the beginning because I believe that skill-based matchmaking kicked in for this game at approximately after your first five to six games. But I got a little bit of footage. I narrowed down all that I got and narrowing down for the good. The weapon sounds and blah, 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 blah. I don't want to start getting negative, but they are a lot to be uh, to be rendered, man. I mean, it is what it is. The map design is decent. Not good. Decent. Okay. This is the good portion. The colors are okay uh, on the outside, but the inside perimeter has a lot to be rendered. It is what it is. But the requisition style system is great. It is great. The time to kill is great. Playing with the homies is great. Word up, word up. The flanking ride, the controls are the real stars of this alpha. I don't know if it was just me, but a game that has BO1 and BO4 style graphics mixed in together with the control system. So let's just stop talking about the graphics right now because I'm, I'm forgetting which episode this is. This is the good. The controls were the real stars of this alpha because you could move and groove, run and gun. Now, y'all see, I'm not doing a whole lot of corner camping. I'm doing what they call crushing in the camping community. And this game actually rewards you for crushing. But y'all know what's coming down the pipeline in the future episodes. But let me just, you know, it is what it is. Most folks don't crush in this game. But if you like to rush around and get spank and flank, how they say, you will love this game. Now, if they tweak the controls a little bit more, I'd say with the a little bit of the sprint time, the ADSs, because I'm thinking with certain best class setups because y'all know those best class setups were hit or miss because most folks didn't get more than what like a good three days to play it so and come to think about it that friday i didn't even get any time in I, I played a little bit after the fact because saturday was my birthday so it is what it is i mean being a grown-ass man i don't with a career and you know youtube it, it, you know shout out to y'all Y'all have me thinking about this stuff a lot of times during the day when I'm doing my regular business business. But I got on mostly Saturday and Sunday. And Sunday I was on for like a solid five hours. So I'm starting to fall in love with Kill Confirmed because you get more tags. But the good about this game, the proximity mines, the Bettys, they work. Um, the launchers, even though there's one launchers, it works pretty good. The AK-74U the AK is good. That Spaz style, I think it was called the Gallo, it's good, but I hardly ever used it. You know what I mean? If y'all noticed, your boy's getting to his streaks now. A lot of folks talk real bad about the camping community, this, that, this, but trust me, a lot of folks have Modern Warfare hangovers. So, Case in point, when y'all get on this map, the bank is going to be a real, real, real big camping situation. I like this map with your boys, with your homies, your camaradas, your camaruchas. If you're running around by yourself, you a target, just to let everybody know. Every, a lot of these cats be holding hands, as they say. A lot of these folks be pub stomping or whatever. That bank is the danger zone. But... That's, that's another thing. It comes with medals just like World War II, so I like that. There's a couple of aspects of this game that I like. I like the requisitions. Now, this Napalm Strike. I liked it, but nine times out of ten, everybody is mostly outside. But requisition style aggressiveness pays off if you have your aim intact. I like that. I like the aspects of... 
the controls, the moving and grooving, running and gunning, the slide isn't too OP. So all in all, I'd say the, the thing that I really love about it, I like the 80s. The, the pizzeria with the video games on the side in Miami. Miami was a good map. That ground war TDM domination, uh, it was so-so. That -so. was a pretty good aspect of it. But that satellite was a bullshit sandwich. They could keep that map because it was full of snipers. So I'm going over the things that I like. I like the Miami map because I am an old salt and I remember Miami Vice. And I remember Scarface when it first came out. And I'm an 80s baby. It is what it is. So all in all, this is the good video. The, the, the Most of the aspects that I like. And I'm going to keep on saying it again. The controls for the folks that's on the Xbox. That when y'all play this game, when y'all first start off, you're going to feel... It's going to feel a little clunky, but the moving and grooving and, and what they call in the Russian community, it's easy to learn how to snake if you get your sensitivities right and you run with a party. You can have a whole lot of fun. There's going to be a whole lot of corner campers in this, but look, look, your boy, see, that, that was a nice little two-piece by a camper. And I like the... The old school medals. It's, it basically looks like BO1 and BO4 had a love child and they never really quite married and they, they basically kept stuff on the under. But that's the aspects that I like about this game. The controls of the controls in the map is the, the real stars. Now, I don't know when they start buffing and nerfing guns when they it is what it is, but the things that I really like, what really, really shined about this alpha is the controls and the slide mechanic and the map, the maps. Or should I say the mini map, not the maps, the mini maps, the correction, scratch, scratch, scratch. The mini map is a dog. It's kind of like having a personal radar with you, but you better be rolling with a crew because if it's just you, they go, <laughs> they go bend you over and do to do. So that's pretty much all I have to say about the good parts on this game. The mini map really outshined the old systems as far as I'm concerned. The controls were immaculate and everything else. I'm gonna leave until uh, leave my opinion till I do the bad and the ugly videos. But all in all, the controls was phenomenal and. Um, and even though the graphics weren't the greatest, even though the maps weren't the greatest, the controls were excellent. You see your boy with the hip fire. But that's pretty much all I have to say, man. Shout out to the controls alone and the mini map alone in this game. Look at Mr. Ignit going off on a tear. But uh, shouts out to the creator of Heaven and Earth. Shout out to Camp Life. Shout out to Murder Gang. Legit crew. Let's continue to do what we do. I am Mr. Ignit. The Camp Life still 10% body fat on the nut back. Couldn't aid us no slack. Shout out to the controls. Shout out to the mini map. And uh, that's just about it. And the snipers were uh, buffed a little bit too much. I'm uh, <laughs> going up into the bad side a little bit. But it is what it is. So y'all know what I like. Stay tuned for the bad video and the ugly video. I am Mr. Ignit. Y'all know how to get in contact with me. At Mr. Ignit and at Mr. Ignit1 on Twitter. Check out the merchandise. I love y'all. Take care and peace. I'm out. Do you have that four-legged friend that you just love and also you love Mr. Ignit on YouTube? Well, it seems to me that you may enjoy the Mr. Ignit logo dog bandana, which is now available at shop.spreadshirt.com backslash Mr. Ignit.